Hey there everyone, Devin here from American Aquarium. Thank you so much for tuning into this video where we compare the Aqua Pond 114 watt UV to the TMC 110 watt Pond UV. We're going to be jumping right into it where you can see me work on these Pond UVs and I'll be slowing the video down in some spots just to show off some key areas. Please know that both of these UVs are what are considered a category A UV as in they are capable of doing level 2 sterilization. They are a premium sterilizer on the market and have higher ratings for clarifications on big bodies of water. So they're both nice sterilizer clarifiers. I first break into the ballast of the Aqua UV. This is a client's UV that was taken off of a pond so some parts are used and are shown to be damaged but I'm just using it as a display. This is the ballast. The ballast is housed in what is considered a fireproof, fire safety box. It sits external of the sterilizer, out of the sterilizer, it is not encased, and would not be considered waterproof. You would not want to get direct water on that ballast. And you'd want to keep it out of a moist area to avoid moisture getting into the electrical. Here is the T5 lamp, 57 watt lamp, pulled out of the quartz sleeve. Now the nice thing about these aquas is they're pretty easy to get into. They have a couple o-rings on the outside holding the quartz sleeve in place. It has a three part screw system to detach the electrical from the lamp. Here's the quartz sleeve. Forgive me for it being a little dirty. Here I just show off the thickness and quality of the build of the Aqua UV. It's actually a very sturdy, heavy plastic. You can see how thick it is, and again, it's very easy to get into these components where the, the lamp and the quartz sleeve are for maintenance. Please note the distance between the lamp and the outer wall of the UV. This is important to know how well it actually does clarification and sterilization. Here's the N4 pen connector and the external ballast. There is the three part series. The outer part of the connection allows you to disconnect the wiring so then it's easier to unscrew the next two which is unscrewing, releasing from the quartz sleeve and, un and unconnecting and releasing the whole lamp Here's the TMC 110 watt pond UV. This is considered a professional model. It's a little more work to get into these sterilizers. They have guards on the outside and a little bit different lamp connectors on the end. They are purposely watertight. There's the lamp connector. This has a two access point where you get where you have to disconnect the sterilizer on each end from the connectors instead of the aqua which is one. The lamp taken out is a T8 different than the T5. These are compression rings that hold the whole quart sleeve unit in place. Two O-rings hold and make the water and make the quart sleeve watertight. There's the quartz sleeve. Also note the length of these lamps are comparable. The T8 is slightly larger. Here's the connector. This also has solid 
high grade thick plastic. Note the distance between where the quartz sleeve would slip in and the outer wall of the chamber. Here is the ballast for this sterilizer. I actually do not take it off because it's much more involved. This ballast is enclosed in what would be considered more watertight, fire resistant. But for the sake of this video, I will not be taking it off. There is another video to show how to replace this ballast. Now for some important stats of these sterilizers. The Aqua UV uses a T5, which is a narrower lamp. The TMC uses a T8 fatter lamp. Some important numbers to know is the width of the lamp and the width of the chamber. The width of the chamber of the Aqua UV is 48 millimeters and the width of the lamp is 24 millimeters, making roughly a 24 millimeter gap. The width of the chamber of the TMC is 72 millimeters and the width of the lamp is 30 millimeters making a distance from the lamp to the wall of 42 millimeter. So there is a difference of about 22 millimeters leaning more favorable to the Aqua UV as in it has a slightly narrower chamber. Narrower means that water will be closer to the lamp for contact of the UVC to the water. Now another important stat is knowing the diameter of the lamps. The diameter of the TMC lamp is 90 millimeters, where the T5 and the Aqua UV is 55 millimeters. This is an important stat to know because that means that more water technically would be contacted to the larger lamp because there is more surface area. Also considering that the length of the lamp of the TMC is about 34 inches and the length of the lamp of the Aqua is close to 31 inches, we could safely say that the TMC would have more UVC contact to water over the aqua, but both are very comparable. The last important statistic of these sterilizers is price. The aqua 114 watt averages about $852 online and has a rating of about 8,000 gallons for clarification and 4,400 gallons for sterilization. The 110 watt TMC UV is $499 online and it has a rating of about 19,000 gallons for clarification and 3,300 gallons for sterilization. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this video. We really appreciate you here at American Aquarium. Take a look at the resources in the description below and we will talk to you guys next time. Thank you so much. Bye.